Okay, here we have uh, meeting number two from others' hands. James Waters has brought together a crack team of individuals to assist to get his presentation ready and his business plan ready to go after funding. And my particular contribution is the Inflow Matrix Operating System, which is a series of uh, maps and interfaces to help organize organizations to put people in particular functions that all the functions together will work as a whole to bring the, the business system into the world. And so right now there are 10 choices uh, starting with research. And that's kind of obvious what research is. Um, then there's infrastructure where you organize all the resources. Then there's a uh, Learning for the jobs, this is like HR. This is kind of like where the coach would be to help people uh, get through whatever they got to learn. Then you have the operations. The operations are sort of like the background activities of what are happening in the business system. And then you have the products, specifically what the business system is creating. And then you have the relationships. Uh, between all the individuals. This is more for a people person. And then you have the direct connection to the customer, your services, where, where you are delivering your, your product strictly to your customer. Marketing is how you bring the, the customers into the door. And then finally, there's a timelessness where James is, which is the uh, leadership role of the agreements. So all of these, um, and there's one more, the communication in the middle. Communication in the middle. Oh, that one's missing. Anyways, one more. So anyway, so the idea is that uh, each person finds one, two, or depending of which, where do you want to put your efforts or your gifts or what you want to contribute or what needs to get done. And this is just the beginning of sort of creating roles and goals for people to understand what part in the whole system they want to play. So that's it pretty much in a nutshell. I like it. I like it. It's, uh, it might look a little <clears throat> confusing in the beginning, but once you kind of familiarize, once we go along, we'll kind of get a better understanding of, of the different segments and whatnot. And it's, it's, I really appreciate Elijah's efforts in this because uh, there's a lot to take on in this, even though we're, it's just going to be starting with one facility. Um, I'm concentrating mostly on just getting that. So as far as, uh, does anyone have the ability to take notes or would be willing to do that? Okay, thanks, Matt. Um, looking at some things that I, I kind of prioritizing. I was talking with Elijah about this. One of the main ones is we need that Kickstarter right away because funds come in, we can start paying for consulting fees. We can start paying for, for people's time. We can start paying for some of the business licensing and all that kind of stuff. And uh, rather than relying on, on this or that, by doing it ourselves, by getting this Kickstarter going, uh, we have a better chance of starting to get those funds coming in. Um, someone taking on the, a YouTube video that kind of introduces what we're doing and stuff and then points us to the website, you know, and everything else. A suggestion would be everyone, uh, if Elijah could kind of show people how to get on the website that we're working on, people familiarize yourselves with there. And just at the top of my head, um, Nathaniel, um, I know you have a lot on your plate and everything else, but I'm assuming you're willing to spend some time helping out with this. So your feedback on some of the technolo technology related um, aspects of this, like in what systems and, and that kind of thing, how to best utilize them and, and what, you know, that kind of stuff would be, your insight would be really, really valuable in that. So just, you know, maybe looking in uh, some of the companies and familiarize yourself with the technology and, and some of the, 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 yeah, just that that kind of stuff. The information of, of that. Yeah, that kind to of be, stuff. To, to be completely forthcoming, um, I'm like swamped for the next couple of weeks until this course is done. 
yeah. when this course is finished, I'm going to have a lot more time. Cool. So that's when, that's when uh, my timeline. So I'm going to start um, looking into some of these things. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's absolutely cool. Yep. You're an invaluable member. So take all the time you need. I know you got lots on your plate and uh, you're, ne- you're, you're right near the end. Not to put too much pressure on you or anything, but that's kind of where I was thinking of, of when, it, when I was thinking of, of when Elijah showed me the system and everything else, I kind of saw you in that research kind of a role, you know, because you're at your knowledge of being able to find out what technologies work and everything else, creativity, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Matt, I kind of see you as, the, as that, communications kind of the person who's kind of making sure all the the you know even marketing that kind of stuff i see you you being invaluable in marketing because of your experience in that area and things and uh elijah of course and then charles i'm 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 kind of like in this i kind of see your role as helping with using your skills of, of filling things out and uh helping me fill out the, the web page and everything, getting some of those sections filled in where you and I talk a lot and we just kind of bounce things back and forth. You show me kind of like your copies of, of what you're thinking of and you and I kind of proof through it and then we just post it to the page and everything else. Yeah. So that's because that's where your gifts, I think, come in well is your ability to kind of really verbalize some of this stuff. And if uh, you'd be willing to do that, it would be amazing. Um. Kevin, John, I kind of had an idea just to share with you guys because you guys know me enough. I want Kevin, John to kind of be the voice and the face of public kind of things because he has that integrity. He's a good speaker. And uh, I, I don't have, I, I'm not able to be the face of this. I want to, even though it's my idea, I can't be the, the public face of it. And so having someone who, who could stand up to public scrutiny and things like that, he'd be, he'd be a good selection for that. So I kind of see him in that speaking role and things like that. And again, me and Charles would be writing speeches for him and that kind of thing, you know, and then, uh, everybody looks so tired. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. You'll have to excuse me. I just got home not so long ago from working in the sun all day. So pretty, uh, it's 10 o'clock here. So (laughs) yeah. Thank you guys for taking the time. I really appreciate it. I'm, uh, yeah, just kind of looking over stuff that I need to work on my business model canvas, but we've got this week off because of the stuff that's going on. The university uh, gave us the week, but uh, so that's going to extend the program by another week. Are we talking about the residential school stuff? Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that stuff's going on. So, um, <clears throat> So yeah, the getting the business model canvas, I need to get that presentation together sooner than later. That's kind of a lot of the onus will be on me for that to get some of the, the getting that business model canvas done, getting a business, um, getting all the licensing, business licenses and stuff in, in order, um, getting estimates for how much square feet we're gonna need for the warehouse um some of the infrastructures are just power hydro um, um, water all that kind of stuff i'm pretty sure i'm i have a coffee meeting this week with the ceo of the songi's business development i met her on sunday she loves what we're doing wants to help us so being able to talk with her and then you know i'll have someone on my side when i do do when we do go forward with the uh presentations and, and, and grants and all that stuff so uh yeah just have there's just some areas where I'm kind of like looking into what what we need to kind of get that of the fundraiser this kickstarter is probably our most important right now but having to have something on the kickstarter you know because all I have is a partially filled out web web page already and so getting that getting that done and the sooner we do that, then the sooner we can start to going forward with, with getting the serious money and, and getting at those big grants and stuff that will help us actually get, get momentum in this. If this meeting with Songhees goes well, that's if everything goes well, that's the land and the partnering with them, um, cost sharing on the building and, and whatnot. 
So then that means then we just have to get a hold of one of the companies that does the vertical farm technology and sell us a system. And one of my ideas is that if we go with a certain com company, like say Envirotech or something, um, get them to make us a deal on the first warehouse, right? And uh, the first uh, vertical farm. So if they give us a deal on that, we'll give them the deal of sole proprietorship for all other greenhouses that we'll build down the road. So then, you know, in something along that, they might be they might be willing to go for that, right? So the first one would be at a lowered cost, and then the rest after that would be at standard costing, knowing that they're gonna we're gonna be building a lot of these, so they're gonna get a lot of uh, a lot of uh, business from 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 us, right? Um, Grocery stores and places like finding out customers that we can sell the product to. Um, we need to find a horticulturalist or someone who's familiar with that field of, of being the head of what plants to grow and their yields and, and taking care of them and all that kind of stuff. And sure. then, uh, and then, uh, yeah, yeah. Just kind of some ideas at the top of my head, just kind of direction-wise. James, that's great. And congratulations on the meeting with the CEO of Songhees. When is that this week? She'll let, let me know. Okay. She's a, a super busy woman, as you can imagine. And yeah. there's lots going on that she has to be there for the band during this time because they're going through a lot of stuff. This is yes. uh, pretty ground-shaking stuff going on right now. So left a lot of people really uh, damaged. Place. It's kind of throwing yeah. a fog in, in the wheels, so to speak, but, you know. <clears throat> um, so I wanted to say out loud, um, when you find out about the meeting, um, seeing as you said, I would have a role here with uh, communications, uh, operations, marketing. I don't have to be there, but just let me know so I can energetically support that whole experience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, any support anything we can do and then really just kind of helping uh, getting that licensing and stuff and, and uh, the business plan kind of thing because the sec sooner we get the business plan done uh, the sooner that we can start get, uh, getting the funds because it's going to be really hard to get anything done without funds in the thing and I want to put it forth to you guys that I have absolutely no problem remunerating everyone for their time and efforts based on you know what, what, what you're willing to put in until eventually we can start giving people official positions and things like that. And when we do that, we'll, we'll drop contracts and all that kind of stuff and figure out where our place is in, a, in it all. Because I don't see myself running the greenhouse. I see myself going to reserves and, and whatnot and getting the reserves to, to work with us to, to get these facilities on their reserve kind of thing. You know what I mean? So getting out there in that capacity too. And, uh, yeah. So yeah. Anyone else want to say anything? <clears throat> Sorry, man. I'm, I'm I am completely brain dead at this oh, point. Okay. Why don't you just call her a night, bud, and we'll uh, we'll catch up after when you get some sleep and stuff. Well, sleep is good. It's just uh, uh, the sun. I was in the sun all day, so I'm like uh, and baked. Yeah. 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 Um, mm. Let me know too when you have. Uh, because I think it was this week you said that, so you've had been given this week off, right? So you haven't done the grant letters, the class on the grant letters? Yeah. Okay. And I was that's supposed right. to this week, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. I like, you know, I've been kind of looking on the internet a little bit to see like forms, mm -hmm. just like uh, the formula of ideas. So mm -hmm. that's fine. But when you get that, when, when that all comes in and then uh, I can help work on the website. Uh, uh, pretty much after this weekend, I, things will be a little bit different here. So yeah. And Elijah's also a good person to ask questions to, too, if you guys text him or, or, or message him stuff to show you how to get on the web page and all that kind of stuff. And then before you publish it, just give me a heads up or, and Matt a heads up as to, you know, exactly what we're putting up and things. Before. Oh, I wouldn't I wouldn't put anything up unless it's been looked at and okayed. Yeah. So right, so. I don't mind people putting it up, but just before it's published, as long as we have an ability to see it and kind of peruse it and everything. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so yeah, don't worry about it, bud. I can tell. So it's all good. 
All right. Uh, you guys have a great night, and I got to get dinner ready too. So, yeah. Thanks for coming, bud. Yeah, man, sorry, everybody. <laughs> Uh, fundraising. I'm I'm really really looking into the fundraising fundraising agencies. You know the different people we can work with. Um, just kind of going over my business model stuff. There they have these sections in here, right? And they they. Uh, Basically, it's like, what's the value proposition, customer segment, channels, customer relations, key resources, key activities, key partners, cost structures, and revenue structures. So that's basically the business model canvas along, along the lines kind of thing. What happened to Matt? He had to go at seven. All right. Um, what were those again? Do you want to just write, tell, say those again? So there is a value proposition, as in what you're bringing forward, right? What you're, you're planning to do. Customer segments, as in who you're planning on uh, selling your product to and, and whatnot. Channels, as in transportation, um, things like that, like how you're getting your customers, your product to the customers. Customer relations is in people you're going to work with to sell your products of supermarkets, banks, all that kind of stuff. Because it's anyone who's working with you is a customer, is a, a customer relation, right? So anyone you're working with. Key resources, things like land, the building, the system, the infrastructure, uh, import exports, community commit connections, staff. That's all key resources that you need in order to make it work. Key activities, so distribution networks, contracts, reliable equipment, all that kind of stuff. Key partners, uh, Songhees First Nations as example, um, any kind of investors or any type of the, you know, whoever the grants come from and everything else. And then the company we'd be working with like Envirotech, grocery chains, that kind of thing. Customer structures, or cost structure, right? So I just spitballed that one. I didn't really, I don't have any solid numbers yet, but just basically an estimation of how much you need, what's it's going to be spent on. So I had things like equipment, consultants, investors, grants, donations, that kind of thing. Revenue structure, uh, basically how much you're going to, your product's going to, uh, revenue your product's going to make in, in, in a year. So I'm kind of, I, I spitballed it again. Um, and what are the, the you know, <clears throat> it's funny because I sometimes write really fast and I can't read my own writing. <laughs> and I'm still writing things down instead of being smart and using computers. So, yeah, that's it. Um, that's, yeah, rough idea. So basically this was just to kind of like figure out having a, everyone understand where Elijah's systems what it's all about and how we can kind of find ourselves fitting in there and then just getting an itinerary of the things we need with the priority being um the business plan and the kickstarter so for the next week if anyone could take some time text each other and, and we will all kind of communicate that way because i don't i uh yeah, we, we put this thing up on the web page and we put it up on the chat in the group chat. And so if you guys see stuff come up in the chat and stuff, just kind of, even if it's, you know, take two minutes to kind of familiarize yourself because sometimes people will put vital information in there. And if, if we don't follow through with it, then we'll, none of us will know what we're doing on the next meeting. Do you know what I'm saying? So I know everyone's kind of really busy and everything, but uh, when we have time, we should really kind of look at the stuff that gets posted so that we're you know <clears throat> better prepared next time and, and things like that because i know it's really chaotic with nathaniel and, and charles and stuff and uh, everyone has commitments like kevin and and marvin and stuff like that so yeah i'm rambling sorry <clears throat> elijah oh i mean you're just saying as it is <laughs> i think um i mean what i get nathaniel will sort of come on board in two weeks mm -hmm. so you know, I, I, I get that 
everyone has you know full workloads in certain respects and that everyone can just contribute when they can kind of thing i'll i can um i can help by bringing the framework to the business plan maybe what i can do is start a google docs for the business plan mm. and start to put the structure in and mm. then and then we can start to identify which pieces and parts you got and which pieces and parts you don't got so maybe that can be something i can do mm -hmm. i would appreciate any of that yeah anyone anything anyone can do um it would be just amazing because i'm trying to figure it all out at the same time and it's kind of like feeling the crunch coming on here but i gotta i don't have to it's not like i graduate from this pro if i don't have it all done by the end of the program i don't have it done by the end of the program as long as i've learned the main tools that i came to the program to learn which is how to write grant proposals how to set my business plan up that's really all i wanted out of the program so if i'm not there's no marks or anything i don't fail if i don't have it done so i'm not too worried about that but uh, definitely feeling the crunches in the quicker we can get some of the key stuff done the case sooner we can start you know motivating people financially <laughs> side note i bought a copy of the 48 laws of power last week and uh always a good read that one <laughs> looking like having machiavelli as a boss it's taught in harvard business school man you know tokyo tech and everything else so there is a reason yeah i'm just smoking a joint right now to calm the fuck down <laughs> um can you can you guys hear me yeah okay uh something to put into your fees um uh consulting fees yeah uh, the general uh consulting fee for an engineer is about uh, 85 bucks an hour yeah Okay, so uh, put that into into your calculations also, because yeah. we're gonna, you're going to need um, uh, mechanical, yeah. electrical. Um, you won't need chemical because we're uh, we're you're doing aeroponics, right? Not uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and and it's not sure about some of that because. The, the company that I'm going to be buying the system off of will have already got most of that engineering stuff done. The electrical would just be somebody who knows how to, you know, put those systems in the building and hook them all up and that kind of thing. So yeah, well, most most of that's just done by, <laughs> by electricians, right? Skilled yeah. trades. Yeah. So yeah, running the wires and making sure they're safe and stuff like that. So yeah, whatever we feel like when we start doing what we're doing and, and being able to be realistic about what consult, consulting fees are and everything else, I have no problem doing that. I just, you know, at the same time, I want to be able to to uh, make everyone feel like they're getting remunerated for their time. But if I pay everyone right on the beginning, there'll be nothing for the business. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, and, you know, when, you're, when, when you're doing your business proposal and your plan, yeah. Okay. Like take into account like consultant fees, skill trades, stuff like that, like all this stuff. So, It'd be good to know exactly like what you just told me. It'd be good to know what that would be for other ones as well, right? When it comes to because there's gonna be um there's gonna be what do you call it, accounting consultants, management consultants, that whole thing, right? So this is gonna have to all be stuff that we figure out until I have the right people hired that I don't need the consultants anymore. I've hired people yeah. contracts and then we're, we're all set right yeah. and probably a project manager yeah exactly yeah exactly and that's exactly what i was thinking of too so in the beginning it looks a little willy-nilly right now just because you know we're all figuring out what our place is in it and coordinating times and efforts so <coughs> once we get going once it, these will be more official business meetings and it'll be more checking in and people reporting from their you know, the division heads would be checking in <coughs> telling everyone what their division's doing you know that whole thing so in the beginning we're just trying to figure out who's comfortable doing what and then you know once you commit to that then you know <coughs> we'll have uh, more to more input when we have the meetings and and so just trying to get that happening so yeah yeah man okay nathan you're tired too bud crash her up thanks for coming man hey no worries um send me a link for the company that you're looking to deal with for all of the uh the automation stuff okay i will so yeah all right my man thank you for coming
And then there was two. <clears throat> then there was two. That was a very short meeting. <laughs> you can take the record off now. <laughs>